Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about QTD function in Power BI DAX. It is one of the important function in the DAX. It means that QTD means that quarter to date. Let us say if you understand very clearly, year contains four quarters. Let me write down here. One year contains four quarters. Four quarters. So let us assume it the quarter, the first quarter Q1 starts from 1st Jan to 31st March. Next Q2, quarter 2 starts at 1st April to June. 30th June or 31st whatever it is based on the calendar let me see the date uh, let me see the calendar of it if you see it June is 30 or 31st I am not sure Yeah, June 30. Uh, next one, next quarter is uh, Q3. It starts from 1st July to 30th September. Fourth quarter. First October to. 31st December. So this is how the quota distribution happens. Now when I apply a QTD function, it means that quarter to date. So it means that quarter to date function. Let us say, so when I, I want to identify the QTD when I was, let us say I am in a date of, so I am at, let us say uh, 23rd of Feb. Okay. So I am trying to calculate QTD on this particular date. So how the calculation happens is the sales amount, let us say I am doing the sales amount summation. The sales amount is going to sum from sum of sales starting from 1st Jan to 23rd Feb. This is nothing but QTD when you are calculating when you are calculating it 23rd February. So the sum of the sales starting from the 1st Jan to 23rd February. Now let us assume it. So you are calculating the, so we are at, uh, let us say 30th uh, March. So that time, if you are identifying a QTD for this particular date, so now you are going to get the sum of sales starting from 1st Jan to 30th March. So this is how the QT apply, QTD applies. Now let me check this. So now I want to calculate the sales at QTD of April 30th. Okay. So this QTD is, so now we are in the second quarter because April 30th is in the second quarter. Now the sales amount is starting from the second quarter starting date. Sum of sales starting from 1st April to 30th April, whatever the date you gave that. So now the QTD on the, uh, on the date of April 30 is equal to the sum of the sales starting from the 1st April to 30th April. In the same way, if it is May 30, May 30th, so in the same way, QTD sum of sales starting from 1st April to 30th May. This is how the QTD applies. So in the same way, when you are in the fourth quarter as well, when you are in the fourth quarter for the mid of the date, if you want to calculate, so fourth quarter starts from the October 1st. So till that particular date, it is a QTD. So if you are talking about a YTD, it is starting from starting of the year to the particular date. So there is no segregation in the year if you are if you are talking about a YTD. But in the QTD, 
depends on the quarter your calculation your summation value may vary because sales is starting point is going to vary based on the quarter date now let's come to the uh, practical implementation of the qtd in the power bi so before going to show you practical in the power bi let me show you what are all the tables which i am planning to use so if you see here i am going to use two tables the first one is the sales second one is the dim date so first let me show you the sales table if you see this the sales table sales table let me connect yeah sales table is the one which contains let me connect yeah yeah if you see this, this is the sales table which contains two columns date and sales amount if you see sales has been uh, uh, there in a particular dates so like a january 6th january 22nd and all now if you see the dim date this is my dim date dim date is a common date uh, dimension date so which are of having couple of columns out of this i am not going to use all the columns i am using only date column okay now let's come to the power bi let's load that data sql server so let's provide the server name my database name is uh, db training click on okay so once you click on okay it will show you the list of tables available in the uh, db training database from which you need to select the tables which you are planning to use i am planning to use sales table as well as dim date table so let's click on load yes it, it is loading once the loading is done i will show you the relationship between these two tables yes now let's come to the relationship if you see here as of now there is no relationship between these two tables now i need to establish a relationship between these two tables so let's click on manage relationships so let's click on new so let's select any table here if the sales table or dimension table so select the date column here select the date column here and the click on okay now close now if you see there is a relationship has, has been established between these two tables you can see the date column is linked with the date column in this table now let's come to the data view now here i'm going to talk about the qtd so if you see this let me arrange first date let me arrange date in the ascending order now you can see that you have around like 13 14 rows so there are some sales in the january month march month february month and so on if you see here i have a sales till 20th august now so let's click a new column let's click a new column to show the qtd i just press a new column here by default name of the column is column so i am going to make it as a qtd the name of the column i can make whatever the name i want so i am keeping the name of the column as qtd if you want to keep xyz you can keep that qtd equal to what formula you need to write is total qtd of expression so what is the expression so i want as i told you i want some of the sales starting from the particular date to the end of the uh, date which you are uh, mentioning so that is the reason why i need to apply some function here so let's come back to the power bi window now let's write down sum of sum of so sales amount i need it so i am going to make it as sales amount is from the sales table let's close the parenthesis comma now you need to provide it dates related stuff so what date you need to provide that date you need to provide from dim date let's type this because date is a function which is linked with between these two tables now once you are okay with this let's click on enter so based on the size of the data it may take a while okay now if you see this See, the first record is uh, a January, second record is also January, third record is also January, fourth record is also January, fifth record is also from January. Now, if you see this, see, the first day is 15. For this particular date, if you calculate the QTD, that is 15. Second is, second record is in the quarter, quarter one, the normal sales amount is 10, but if you see the QTD for the second record, 25. The third record, it is in the February record, normal sales amount is 5, but if you see the QTD for the particular record is 30 now let's go to the fifth record that is fifth record is march 30th the normal sales is 100 but if you see the qtd sales is 155 it means that summation of all the sales starting from the 
quarter starting date to the specific date which you are planning to calculate the same way if you go to the next second quarter 421 normal sales is 30 even qtd also 30 because i don't have any other sales in the same quarter before that date let's come to the next record see if you see this may record 18th the sales in normal sales is 35 but the qtd is 65 because summation of 30 plus 35 is 65 the same way this is how my qtd is going to apply in the power bi dax so if you want to display this in the uh, report view let's come here let's take any table let's select the fields whatever you want normal sales amount and uh, qtd so let me make it as little bigger size if you want so come to the column headers let's make it as little bigger this is how we are going to represent uh, in the tabular so if you want to represent in a visualization in the charts later you can you, you can do that it's up to us how it is up to us how we represent the data in the visualization so as this is how we are going to calculate qtd in the power bi dax that's it thank you for watching so if you have any questions on the qtd calculation or ytd or mtd calculations please let me know on this email training to sql at the rate gmail.com thank you for watching please subscribe for more technology and updated videos thank you